Hi everyone, Bosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have something really cool to talk about. It's something that's going to be really pressing with Zoho very soon. And that is integrating your email into the CRM, but then also authenticating it and just best practices around all of that. There are proper ways and improper ways to integrate your email. And pretty soon Zoho is going to announce that you have to do this. So a lot of accounts are going to be scrambling to figure out how to do it. It's honestly a best practice to reduce spam rates and all of that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to integrate your email at a high level. I'm not going to go into all the service providers like GoDaddy and Bluehost and Gatorhost and all that. If you want specific videos on that, please request it and I'll make them. Secondly, I'm going to go over what email relay is and why it's important. Maybe you should use and maybe you shouldn't. And then lastly, Zoho has some email deliverability insights you can now look at to see if you should amp something up or amp something down. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. We just passed 1,500 subscribers, so thank you for that. And also, um, we're coming out with something very soon called our Blue Inner Circle. And we'd love for you guys to join that. In there, we talk about all of our tools, all of our recommended partners, 10 years of best practices of how we implement solutions for people were given away, included in our community. So you can have importing guides, templated guides, how to write a scope, how to do a migration, all kinds of stuff like that. So I'd encourage you to check it out. And you also get discounts on all of our apps. See you in the video. All right, so let's get into this. So um, I'm gonna go over into this system here. You can see here, this is what it'll look like if you haven't set up your email yet. So you hit settings, email, and then you would see some settings here. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is choose your email, hit get started, and then there's a bunch of standard options. So Zoho Mail, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Office 365, Outlook. These are the two most common, followed by this and this. No matter which one you click on, they're all relatively the same. So for example, if I click Gmail, always choose IMAP, hit configure, it's gonna bring a pop-up, say log into your Gmail with your username and password, or your email and password. A lot of systems will have 2FA turned on, so you're gonna to have to go through that. If I go back, it's gonna be the same thing for Outlook. Right? So if you choose Outlook, same thing, there's a pop-up, choose your username or your email and password and log in. So that's step one and probably the most or the easiest step in this whole process. Now, this is something that you have to do in order to have the email syncing into the CRM. Let's say you're one of those people and you say, well, none of the host providers that I have are there. You can always choose other. This one then gets a bit more intense where you have to put in the display name, which would be your first and last name, email address, password, incoming server this will be if you just google like for example let's say your email is hosted by i don't know mailhostabc.com you can google mailhostabc.com incoming server outgoing server for imap and it'll give you that and it'll be the same for all their emails oftentimes it's like smtp mailhostabc.com and then it'll tell you the port as well same thing here all these systems will tell you the outgoing server as well so this is step one in the process. So you integrate your email and, and that's a, a very important step. Now going to step two here, I'm gonna show you our email. So once you do that, it's then going to ask you to authenticate your domain. And this is arguably the harder part. I'm not gonna go over each individual authentication process. If you want some particular ones, write it in the comments. I'll make a specific video on it. But you can see here, automatically your domain will be here and it'll look like this. It'll say you have to verify and authenticate, right? So first off, it's going to send an email to your email with a code. So it's just checking if you're human, right? So you'll come back here, you'll enter the code. That's step one. Step two, you now have to authenticate it with your server host, whether that be GoDaddy, Bluehost, whatever. And so they will give you a DKIM and an SPF setting, right? And so there's a lot of information in this help article here that talks to you about how to do all of this. You'll see here SPF configuration and DKIM configuration. So it's gonna look like this. Here's the text record, right? And so what you're going to have to do is take that and put it in your mail house. So you're gonna to have to put the SPF record and the DKIM record. Like I said, I can drill down in a specific video for like GoDaddy and stuff if people want, but this help article really goes through it. And it even talks about each of them here. If you choose DKIM configuration, you'll see it talks about how to do all of this and like literally goes through one in GoDaddy. 
And so this is what you're going to have to do. And in basic terms, what this does is it basically tells your email that emails are going to come from Zoho, but when they do, you want it to go through your mail host. What this does is reduces spam because when it hits the end user's email, it says, oh, this came from Mosmo's email. If you don't do this, it's actually going to say, oh, this came from Zoho, but we're masking it as Mosmo's email. So you don't want that. It increases your spam. So you want to do this. Once you have done this, you'll see here that these will both be checked off. Now, when you set this all up and it walks you through that in these help articles, once you've set all of this up, it will show, it'll take some time to actually authenticate. So don't expect this to be authenticated right away. It could take up to 24 hours. So that's step two. And that is definitely the most important step. Now, I mentioned I would talk a little bit about email relay. What this is, is it's another layer even further. So if you're sending bulk emails, large blasts, automated emails, you might want to set up a relay so that emails don't go through your server. They actually, or sorry, don't go through Zoho server at all. They go through your server. And this is something that large marketing companies and things like that are using. So feel free to check this out. I would have to make a whole video on this. So if you're interested, let me know, but that's what this is. And then lastly, there's an email credibility score. So you can see this is actually our credibility score. You can see it's pretty good. So Zoho will start giving you this as you're using it. And so you can see we've sent 2,000 emails in the last month. Most have delivered the sent count versus the credibility score versus the bounce count. We have very little bounces. Now it does recommend a few things, which is really neat. It says some domains need to be authenticated. You can see it's our old domain .co, so that's why it's not authenticated. And then we could put the uns unsubscribe link in more of our templates. I guess some of them are not or don't have it, right? So basically I, the idea here is Zoho will give you tips and tricks to increase your domain credibility. So all this to say, very soon what Zoho is going to release, and maybe when you're watching this video they already have, they're going to make you or strongly recommend that you do this. So the first step I showed you was just integrating your email. This second step is what they're going to strongly encourage, which basically says authenticate your domain. So this is the step you're going to have to get good at. And a lot of Zoho users have not done this. So I'd recommend doing this. And like I said, if you want very specific videos, let me know, because this could end up being a 40 minute video if I did all of them. So hopefully this helps. The idea here is to get your emails in line, get them authenticated with the domain. And honestly, it's not just to appease Zoho. This drastically increases or decreases the likelihood of spam. Like you could be having 30% spam now and not even know it. If you do this, you'll go down to less than 5%. Right? So it's very important if you're trying to do sales and marketing from here. Right? As always, I hope you liked the video. Please like and comment. And uh, uh, as I mentioned in the intro, check out our inner circle. It has tips and tricks like this. We've been working on it for a while. It's got 10 years of data in there. We have our recommended partners, our recommended telephony, our recommended dialers. Basically all the things that people ask us, what should I do here? What should I do there? We've distilled it into a community that you can join. It's a one-time fee to get all of this data. And uh, we hope to see you there.